Hello, it's Jack here broadcasting your weekly uh, bread tip at Bake with Jack in the hub of the production kitchen. <laughs> My house. Um, I want to talk to you about sugar today. Somebody sent me an email, a nice email, asking me about honey and sugar and why there's no honey and sugar in my bread recipe. Um, people put honey and sugar in recipes, something sweet for a few reasons. One being, it's a sweet recipe, it's an enriched dough, it's something sweet, it's a hot cross bun for example. You need the sugar or the honey or whatever it is uh, for sweetness. Uh, reason number two is it helps it stuff brown off a little bit more. Uh, a little bit quicker. The sugar caramelizes and the loaf takes on a nice brown color. Um, if you want to add it for that reason, absolutely fine. Just a little touch will be enough. Not enough to sweeten it, but enough to take on a nice color. And the third reason is uh, a lot of old school recipes say stuff like mix your yeast with some sugar and water or milk and sugar or a bit of honey or something to really give it a kick start, let it froth up and get it going. But uh, in my mind, that's a little bit unnecessary. Uh, I just use fresh yeast and stick it into the water till it's soft, or dry yeast straight into the flour. Um, the whole thing of adding sugar and letting it foam up, I think, in my mind, is probably uh, a bit of a safety measure because, you know, if you've got some fresh yeast and you want to make sure it's active, you're writing a recipe for somebody, I've got to make sure that it's going to work for you and so I think when people put sugar in it, let it froth up in the jug, I think that's a safety measure because if you put sugar in it and it didn't froth up in the jug, you know something is wrong and you know you've got to start again with some fresh yeast and that's why I think it's there. I think it's just there for that safety measure um, but I never do it. I use fresh yeast, I know it's fresh. I use dry yeast, I know it's dry. <laughs> it's in a packet and it's not too old. Um, so uh, I don't do that bit, I'll just skip it. There's no need for it really, as long as you know your yeast is okay. And that's the bread tip for this week. Another quick one, last week was a quick one and today is a quick one too. And uh, I'm gonna share some cool Halloween stuff next week, I think, um, or the following week. And I'm looking forward to it. If you like this video, please click like underneath if you like it if you like to that's absolutely fine I don't mind that at all and uh, subscribe if you want to see my videos once a week and you don't want to miss a single thing please click subscribe I'll be here next week and I look forward to seeing you then see you later